All right, click the links for Odyssey, Big Shooter Sports Channel. A quick video. Dorsey has left Twitter, which isn't that important. Um, I mean, in terms of the things you'd be interested in, like, you know, free sport speech, the open marketplace of ideas and all that. And I've been replaced by some other idiot. Um, and someone made a comment like Dorsey was like one of the last white guys involved in big tech. Everyone else is, is not white, which is, is kind of weird because it's, it's, if you do a statistical analysis of people who support uh, free speech, it turns out that white men are the number one supporters of free speech. Which is, is interesting because they're the ones responsible for building a certain high level of civilization. So maybe... Free speech has something, something to do with that. So this guy is uh, is anti-white, um, and he's pretty comfortable with that. Now the thing is with um, with Twitter is I, you know, it's like the Twitter is over party, Facebook is over party. It's fine. You can get off and get on Gab, uh, which is like the Twitter alternative, and it is it's grown. The thing is, uh, Twitter is an interesting legal constitutional issue because. It is uh, kind of de facto where the media and the politicians are. So you go, if it's, but it's obviously it's a private company. If it, if it uh, First Amendment protections don't apply there for that open marketplace of free expression, and the politicians are using it, then the First Amendment is meaningless. And you know, ultimately, you like to see Congress do something about put that issue. Uh, somehow force that issue be, before the Supreme Court so they can they can at least clarify that, oh, yes, if, if if you don't have free speech on Twitter, which is the, it's the new town square, and then, and there are no alternatives, reasonable alternatives to Twitter, and there aren't. Like, uh, Twitter is, you know, probably, I don't know, orders of magnitude larger than any of the nearest competitors, Gab or Mines or anything else that comes close to it. You're like, well, the First Amendment would really have to apply to it. And if it doesn't, then that kind of means you're putting your cards on the table and you say, like, yeah, we're just getting further and further away from the Constitution where politicians can kind of use private industry to bypass your constitutionally protected rights, um, which is an interesting thing. Anyway, get on Gap. Get on Gap. Get on Gap. So this guy's an idiot. He makes a distinction between Muslims and uh, extremists. Now, here's the thing. I don't know if I can say this on YouTube. Um, the extreme is not the word. It's not the correct word. Um, it's fun. It's fundamental. Fundamentalist is the is the accurate word. Um, and the thing is, even if you can prove this stuff by referencing um, their source material, their literature. I don't even want to say the word on YouTube. Uh, you'll still get kicked off Twitter or social media. Like if you quote their book back to them on this is not important. If you quote their book book, book back to them on Twitter, uh, you'll get kicked off. It's a it's a trip. So the important thing here is that he, even though it's a private corp company, they're just outwardly saying they have no concern with the First Amendment, which, as I said, is a challenge because the media and your poli your representatives are using it. So which means they're going to censor right of center speech and not left of center speech, which it means it has an unfair uh, ability to influence elections. You've got a situation where a non-governmental organization that doesn't represent the people is effectively deciding who gets elected every year. That's a all this. A lot, this is these are um, civil war level events because you look at the Congress and you, you legislator and you go, oh, they're not doing anything about this. So you're gonna have these NGOs who are effectively reading the leading the country. It's like that's what happens when your country turns into a commercial zone. It's like, oh, who's the president? Oh, I think it's uh, Soros or the Rothschilds. What do you, what do you mean? Because if you control, if you run the banks, the media, big tech. It's just one big NGO that's running the running the uh, the country. It's like, oh, well, we, we want to vote for this kind of stuff. We want a, a republic. It's like, oh no no no, you're just a commercial zone for the one percent. And this is this is something like the far left and the far right has a lot in common. And then things get even weirder because you get the GOP involved, and people people on the left hear the GOP and they get triggered. They they think of Trump and they get triggered. And they think, oh, Trump's on far right, Hugo Boss where? And the people who are actually on the far right look at Trump and goes, oh, we wish that was the case because he would be a better guy if he was. Anyway, so vulture capitalist Singer is a pro-Israel uh, GOP guy, and you go, yeah, these are neocons. Um, they're pro-Israel. They will censor any speech against Israeli influence in American politics. You can talk about Russia, China all you want, but if you mention Israel, you're going to get kicked out of uh, all their all their discussions, all their um, 
what do you call their meetups where like the Charlie the Charlie Kirk meetup where Fuentes tried to go and that he wouldn't allow. I was like, oh, there was a oh my god, there was a right wing thing where it was a it was a canceled event. And you had all these free speech guys, and then some chick who, who was on the right and got canceled, they uh, rescinded her invitation because, uh, I don't know, she criticized Israel or something like that. She criticized. So here's the thing. is like these people are called controlled ops, like the Rubens and Shapiros. They allow this narrow spectrum of debate, and anything outside that debate is haram. So they get in these systems, and like I think Ruben owns Getter, doesn't he? Getter and some video hosting platform. So it's like, okay, well, that's crap. That's anything that goes through the app store, anything that's controlled by these controlled ops guys is going to be garbage because they're, they're not going to allow you to criticize the things that need to be criticized. Anyway, so this pro-Israel singer guy uh, had something to do with getting Jack Dorsey out. But it, it didn't matter because Jack Dorsey's not a free speech guy anyway. And he had the, uh, he got the GOP to embrace the BLT agenda. And like, that's a huge... What are you conserving? If you're conservatives, usually you think you conserve something. The the right wing doesn't conserve anything. There aren't. There's no GOP. There's no Republican. There's no conservatives in America, um, because they're moving left. Where the left is running left, and the right is just walking left. Uh, anyway, uh, probably about as far as I can go. For um, you just got to get off Twitter. It's a it's a time suck. Uh, Gab, if you're if you're moderate or right of center, Gab is going to be the place to go. Because uh, they've got a lot freer speech. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next episode.